I'm Phoebe. And I'm Ruby, and we're twins. I like to do a lot of gymnastics, and... I like to do a lot of dancing. I get a stomach ache. You just wanted to get it out of you, but it, like, you can't get it out. You have to just wait and hope it will just go away. I can get quite a lot of headaches and I get quite a lot of sore throats. I get rashes and it just, and it makes me feel very low and upset. I feel like, like I don't want to do anything, I don't want to get up, and it's just not, it's not nice at all. But I like always try to go into school because otherwise you're losing out on education. Whereas if you're sick, you have you can't go in, and it can be really difficult sometimes. People thought when we go home from school is because it's just a sickness bug. But if we just get a tiny bit of flour, it can just make us the illest, and we can be off school for maybe three, maybe four days. It makes you feel like you've done it on purpose when you haven't. It can be maybe six, seven hours before I get the rashes and then it might be 24 hours until I'm sick. My brother, Murphy, he sometimes like has, gets to have hot dogs and burgers at like fireworks and things like that. It's quite restricted for us of what we're allowed to eat and we have to be truthful to ourselves because if we eat it, we, it just affects us for a while. And We went to a restaurant when we were on holiday and we asked for gluten-free pasta and they gave us non-gluten-free pasta. And then for the rest of the holiday, I wasn't feeling at all well and it's not very nice. Everyone should be aware of it because it could happen to them any day. A lot of people don't realise how hard it is for people to live with it. A lot of my friends recognise it and if we go round to their houses, their parents are very understanding and they'll go out and buy the food especially for it. When it's me and my sister, I feel okay because there's someone else that I know is gluten-free.